you're watching the Iron Man Zalra Guide. You're going to bring your best ranged and magic setup. And I'm purposefully de-geared here from what I already have just to show you guys that it is definitely possible to do. If you don't have a Ring of Suffering, then you need to bring Rings of Recoil. So since Zalra does use Venom, uh, you definitely need to bring an Anti-Poison so that way you can go from Venom to Poison. I would start off in Edgeville. I would drink an agility potion, use the lunar staff with the sphere ring way over here. And you're like, Plank, why do you have a Ceridoman brew? Well, I'm going to cut my stats down as well. So it's more realistic for when you would do this. So let's jump on into this kill. I'm going to drink this, then a range potion, and a magic potion to boost a little bit. Let's grab out a prayer pot and then the extra food. So from here, gonna run over. Oh, also bring a teleport to house. You definitely need that. While you're at it, go to Rune Lights plugin hub Zara plugin. I already have it downloaded. Let's see here, configure. I want Zalandra BJS. Come on through. Ah, right here you have the plugin helper. It tells you what you need to pray and where you need to stand and where Zalra will be. Now keep in mind this plugin itself is not bannable because it does not do anything for you. It does not display it on the game itself. All right, so do your best offensive prayer. Hit Zolly Boy. You can always put on accurate for that extra little bit as well. And the hardest part of learning Zora is learning the ro the rotations. Use your specs ASAP. See how I'm um, venomed. You can let that tick up a little bit. Now you just move on to your next location. The snakelings deal most of the damage to you. So I'm gonna let this tick up one more time to eight and then I'm gonna cure it. So I'm here, so now I need to pray mage next. So now I'm here, I can click on it to keep track for myself. So I got 16 seconds before I need to heal myself again. tip that I can say is learn your rotations, but also learn when to eat efficiently. And that'll really help you out because you won't be wasting ticks. So this here is ranged. So I'm right here. you're taking extra poison damage. Well, I'm also going to miss out on these three snakelings that spawn over here. Which is why I did that. So now I know I'm on mage next. Heal up. Put on my gear. And go to town on Zully. This is a fun trick. You can hide behind this pillar here just to completely negate this phase. I'm gonna drink a dose of prayer potion. Also gonna heal up, de-venom myself. And this is the next Jad phase here. I panicked for a second. But every time he dips his head, that's when you can click, click, click. And then once you're through the whole rotation, just hit reset. First one, you always play range because it's green.
And then it's this one, and you go through that whole flow chart again. Just standing where you need to stand. And that is proof, guys. You don't need great stats to do Zora. You don't need to be a god tier gamer. I didn't even use anything offensively to help me in the spellbook department. You can bring thralls, and yes, the thralls make a huge difference, and they really do help. The kills are slow doing it this method, and you can almost guarantee a one kill trip once you understand what's coming. That is with the bare minimum gear. So if you don't have this pool, you can always teleport back to your house, teleport to a close bank, or you can use the ring of dueling to teleport to Pharaoh's enclave, restore there. You can bank, you can even take the canoe down here, go that way. That just seems like a bit more work to me. Uh, I would typically just come back here, eat up my food, restore my prayer in my house, and then go back. If you guys want some more PVM content, click on this one for Cox and this other one for Tob.